Well, it's late on a Friday evening, but here I am in my new office. Um, I've finally got my computer uh, connected up to my printers. There's the Huxley in the corner and the new 3DR Delta printer which is finally working properly and uh, it normally lives up there on the top shelf in the middle but I've just been doing some final tweaking and so uh, I've got it set up here right next to the computer so it's at uh, a good working height for uh, making small adjustments and you can see that it's working nicely. So starting from the top, it's got a lovely filament spool holder which uh, stops the filament from unwinding too much but um, allows it to pass freely down this tube and into the extruder sits there. This is running with 1.75 millimeter filament. Um, it has quite a lightweight head which you can see moving down at the bottom and they work best with the extruder mounted off to one side. Uh, it's called a, a Bowden tube that the, um, the filament passes down and into the hot end down at the bottom there. Delta printers work by having three independent arms at 60 degree angles. Um, there's three motors down there in the base, which you might be able to see are attached to uh, spools with filament wrapped around them. And uh, the motors just move backwards and forwards, wind the filament up and down. Uh, pull each of the arms in turn and with some clever um, geometry built into the software the platform moves around smoothly on a level plane meaning that the uh, nozzle can deposit plastic on a flat layer. Um, I'm building a model of a hand here, designed in 3D software. Uh, it's going to be life size, about 15 centimeters long, and should take about three hours to print. But so far, so good. That's um, that's a glass plate that I, uh, I cut out myself um, from an old sheet of glass um, coated with PVA glue and the uh, PLA filament has just stuck straight to it and seems to be printing nicely. There's a fan at the back there which I haven't got switched on at the moment but um, for printing very small parts like um, like the two small figures that I printed first, uh, having a, an extra cooling fan is quite useful. So, electronics all mounted up at the top there. On the inside, that was a spare board that I had left over from uh, an earlier repair, so that didn't cost me anything. And the whole printer I think I've managed to put together for probably just under £300. So I think that's now working really nicely. Obviously got to spend a bit of time getting used to um, printing with it and getting some good prints, but um, good to have the build finished and it'll be really interesting to see what I'm able to do with the additional height. I've now got uh, a total build height on this printer of about three, 360 millimetres or 36 centimetres tall which is much higher, uh, more than twice as high as the Mendel 90 can go 
so for tool prints it will be uh, invaluable. Anyway, there we are. Time to uh, switch this off now, leave the print running, and uh, thanks for watching.